Hello everyone and welcome to the Very Reasonable Pilots Podcast. I'm your host, Charles Lung, and with me as always is my co-host, Jake Loth. So, what are we doing today, Jake? Well, usually uh, we're pitching uh, pilots for TV shows, but you and I, both big DC fans. Um, Um, What DC what? DC like the shoe company? Yeah, DC the shoe company. Um, And they recently had a big expo, and so we're going to talk about their new vans. Oh, great. DC like the... Like Washington D.C. Yep, we're gonna talk about uh, the new buildings they're putting up. I, I think uh, I don't know. Are they putting up about, buildings? Uh, no, we're talking not. about uh, D.C. fandom because oh. that's D- the thing no, that it's not D.C. fandom. It's, it's fandom. D.C. fandom. 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 All right. D.C. fandom. That's how I think you have to say it. Legally speaking. Legally? Oh, okay, sorry. I'll, I'll contact yeah. my lawyer. I think I think my roommate wants to be a lawyer, so I, I guess they'll be my lawyer. Okay, good for your roommate and good for you. All right. Um, your roommate being me. Yeah, because we, cause, because we, we live in the to... same <laughs> hole in the ground. If you we live know. in the same hole in the ground where we get, uh, we get access to the DC Twitter, and that's the only thing we have access to. So yeah, that's, that's it. That's what we're going to talk have. about. So, what was your favorite part of the DC fan? Favorite event? part? Um, yeah. I would, I would, I would replace that with my only two favorite parts, or maybe like maybe f- only three favorites. I don't know. There's a few things I, I liked, but a lot of things I did not like. Oh, I see. I think I'm coming out of this more positive than you are. Okay. Well, I really liked uh, the Batman trailer. Um, yes. I wasn't was sold on it for most of the trailer. Uh huh. I, I did not. I was like, eh, this is like all right. I don't really like his uh, his cow. Like what? The, it looks I a little strange. Cow. I don't know something about it. But I think he sounds great. And when he delivers that "I am vengeance" line, I thought that was pretty yeah. awesome. I, I kind of wish he continued it and it like went. Uh, he said, "I am vengeance," and then punched someone else. And said, I am, I am the knight. And then like uh-huh. he punches someone else, and the screen goes black to the Batman title. Okay. I thought that would have been then, cool. But they didn't do that, and that's why they should hire me. And they should play the theme song from that old Batman animated TV show from the 2000s, where the the theme song was like, like a big Rocky version of that, and then no. it ended with them going, the Batman. Did you like the trailer? <laughs> I like the trailer. I I I see. I, my least favorite part was the last bit. I didn't like the I am vengeance line. Really? Yeah, I was like, eh, you know, what? Why is he saying? Why is he? That's weird to lean down to somebody who you just beat up, like, and whisper. In but their did ear. you like the delivery? Because that's what matters. I mean, it's it it about his right. voice. I, I like, you know, that's important. That Batman sounds is good. It's all right. I think he's a little too Christian Bale light. You know, I think he nah. should, should. I think he should be making the Batman voice a bit more of his own but again i've only heard one sentence now so christian bale really... would have been significantly more <coughs> gargly <laughs> yeah something like that i guess but uh, he was more like oh, baby. yeah which you is know fine. He's, he's still got the I, I don't know i think he should be more kevin conroy with it less less christian bale but it must be hard because they've got that thing holding on their nose so they're trying it like they've got the cowl which is like pinching their nose yeah so they're trying to f- sound tough with, like, someone pinching their nose, which is really hard. So he's like, oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay, I think we got the point. I don't think yeah. anyone wants to listen to you say I'm Batman a couple times trying to do the voice. No so, one's going to hire you to be Batman, just letting you know. My favorite thing from DC Fandom was the Suicide Squad trailer. You mean the... The James Gunn-directed the, 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 film. Okay, so you mean not the trailer, you mean the long sort of it was like a behind the scenes behind the scenes footage thing. that but was you not also a saw you saw some of well there was also a trailer released where it was like meet the squad and they showed you each yeah. member who were they played by so yeah it was kind of a trailer why are you getting so hung up on these minute unimportant details cuz i liked a trailer. it like you're an idiot i i thought it was interesting <laughs> um but the problem is I don't like know a lot of those characters, and I know DC pretty well. And there's a lot of those characters. Like I looked through what? a cast list, and there's a lot of them I don't know. Who so do I didn't you know? Particularly like it. 
Why, why don't you like it? Aren't you excited to be introduced to new characters? For I to am, but with? I first want to see the characters that I'm already in love with on the screen. But they tried that, and most of those movies are bad. Well, that's because they weren't good at making those movies. Again, well, hire me. I'll do it right. No, no, we won't. I, I, don't I, listen I, to him. <laughs> we. Bob I don't know Iger. We. Oh. I, I would do it. I didn't say we. I would do it great. Jake would do it bad. I would do it fantastic. Uh, see, I'm very excited. I want that's what I want the most. I want James Gunn with some weird characters doing a weird movie. And that seems like what's happening. Now what know? trailer I did think was good, Suicide Squad wise, was the uh, was the video game. Suicide yeah. Squad Kill the Justice League. I very much enjoyed that trailer as well. Cause oh, it was, I thought that was good. What well, I'm not usually a fan of pre rendered trailers for video games because they don't tell you jack shit. Yeah. But I liked that it gave you some pretty subtle, or semi-subtle, like, hints as to, like, you're obviously going to get to play as the four main characters, Captain Boomerang, who is lovingly referred to as Boomer by Harley Quinn, and I liked that a yeah, lot. Yeah, I saw that. that was good. So, uh, Captain Boomerang, Harley Quinn, King Shark, and Deadshot, who are the four main characters of this, of this game, and they each have a unique, uh, like, movement system. Yeah. Like... Uh, uh, yeah, you could see like in the thing like it was either a jetpack yeah. or like boomerang had some weird teleport thing boomerang, harley quinn's just like harley quinn she's got a i think in the trailer she's got a, a grappling hook yeah i think she's gonna be the most like i don't know how they're gonna do the game really because we didn't see any gameplay but i feel like she's gonna be the most like um because it's made by rocky study who made batman arkham she mm-hmm. her like sort of combat system is gonna be the most like uh batman from arkham knight yeah because i am um, excited and a little scared to see how these guys do guns because correct me if i'm wrong rocksteady is not known for you know third person shooters they're known for their their like one-on-one uh combat yeah the the free flow combat system that free flow combat which and they have done guns though before in that like um in arkham knight there's that one mission where you play as red hood and you have guns and I don't. I didn't play that. I don't. I didn't play Arkham Knight. That's it looks wow. shitty. You're just so, not qualified to talk about this then. I have another thought about Marvel <laughs> Suicide Squad, and then we can talk about the thing that I like that I think you're gonna hate. Marvel Suicide Squad is what you just said, by the way. Marvel Suicide Squad. Okay. Yeah, their new yeah, movie. Whatever. Marvel's new movie, Suicide Squad. Yeah. yeah. Listen. I guess it's be- being directed by James Gunn. So. Listen, Disney's going to own everything pretty soon, so everything's going to be Disney's Marvel's nah, Suicide Squad. Nah, AT&T owns just as much as Disney, and AT&T owns Warner Brothers. AT&T owns probably more than Disney, actually. Hmm. Well, I was just saying that this, this Suicide Squad game looks like the good version of the Marvel's Avengers game that I haven't played, but it doesn't look great. Yeah, yeah. I, I've, like th- yeah. It just seems like this game's going to have a sense of humor, mm-hmm. whereas the other, uh, you know... There were funny bits in the Roxy Arkham games, but mostly they were very dour and like, hey, everybody, let, look at this sad, decrepit city that's, you know, slowly cannibalizing itself. Mm-hmm. And I think this game's going to be a little bit more uh, uh, lighthearted and fun. Um, I'm glad, because I think they're set in the same universe. I think I read that somewhere that the Arkham games and this Suicide Squad. Yeah, kills so I read that like- too. But here's the problem with that. Um, so Deathstroke or uh, mm-hmm. Deadshot is in um, is in this game, right? Yeah. And he's black. Yeah. And, and he's, he's got in, a jetpack. And he's and- in Arkham City, and he's white. So are they yeah. different Deadshots? And Harley Quinn at this point, at and least, she's also looks very like, different. But I mean, Harley Quinn's through. she's changed she's a lot and from everything. Yeah. So is yeah, it a different dead shot? Is that what they're doing? I, I mean, I'm maybe, fine with that. I don't really care. I, but. Y- neither do I. But, like, if they are in the same universe, that would be cool, but they probably have to do some explaining. And then is, uh, is Batman dead? Because he'd be a good boss fight. Like, Yeah. I, m- my Hopefully, my idea is that, like, they'll have seven pretty long levels, and each level will end with, like, a boss fight with a member of the Justice League. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the game is called or, Kill the Justice League, so or I Kill the Justice. My idea, well, they could do that, or they could do like they're constantly they're just running away from the Justice League. That and, like yeah, and they're trying to like um, like trying to scramble together to yeah. have one last fight. I don't know. Yeah. I want I want an impossible 
uh, fight against. I want the whole game to just be one boss battle against Superman that you you can't win. It's impossible. Yeah. It's it's just great. completely impossible to win, and you so. just fail over and over again. And after Something you fail two hundred times, the game's like, "What? Did you think that you could beat Superman? Like, yeah, did you? Superman? He's you're Superman. just a, some you're some chick with a bat. That's <laughs> Superman. You're some you're guy with some a boomerang. Like, you're just <laughs> some asshole with a boomerang. This is, that's Superman. Go away. But yeah. here's something that I liked at DC Fandom that I think you're going to hate because you're a Batman fanboy through and through. I'm very excited about Gotham Knights. I Okay, I want to talk about that because I fucking hate it. It's awful. Why? It's garbage. Why? I hate those kind of games. I hate games where it's like there's a health bar above them and you got to punch them until the health bar is gone. That is most video games. That is not most video games. What, what are, are you, you talking, talking about? talking about? Health bars? It What? I, uh, hate, I, I hate those kind of like when it okay so i'm, I'm gonna like, pull up the gameplay trailer right now because yeah, like, there's that there's a boss fight and i watched this video um and it was like someone had spliced together mr freeze uh boss fight in i guess arkham city yeah, arkham city and mm -hmm. the one in gotham knights trailer and in it barbara gordon like over the inner over like uh the voice thing to um to batman it's like hey like you can't you can't take him on in a straight on fight he'll he'll destroy you and then it cuts to the trailer where Batgirl is punching Mr. Freeze in a straight-up fight. Okay, but this is not the same universe as the Arkham games. It is. This definitively is not. Is it not? What? The no. beginning of it is him like saying, like, I'm dead. Yeah, but, okay, if this were the Arkham games, uh, wouldn't Batgirl be paralyzed? Because she's paralyzed in those games. I assume they were going to somehow... Because in the comics, she's like, gets uh, surgery or something yeah, to fix I know. it. But so I, I don't, I don't like think that... that I don't think this seems like a much more cartoonish and comic booky version of the universe. I don't think that this is like I'm watching the game page trailer right now, and there's lightning. Like Batgirl's riding a motorcycle as lightning is falling down around her in the streets, and it's like that's not something that would happen in the. Like she just went off an ice ramp. This this game is yeah no that's just what I don't like I like the gritty. Well, of the I Batman think games. I think that there's enough gritty Batman stuff, you know? Batman okay, well, see, this is what I want. I want another gritty Batman game like Arkham Knight. And I why? got a co-op. Why? Because that's what I like, Charlie. I'm sorry. That's but, what I like. like. There I, have and been... what we got was a co-op spongy game. I don't like when enemies are spongy like that, where it's like um, like you're going to have Red Hood, and Red Hood's going to shoot a guy in the face yeah. with a gun. And the well, guy's I... going to be like, all right, got to shoot me like 40 more times because that didn't work. I'm pretty sure Red Hood, he's got, like, not, it's not piercing bullets. It's like, I know that it's not the same thing, but still. Like, I think that there's enough gritty Batman shit out there. There's enough Batman stuff out there. I want, and, you know, the Batman mythos is filled with, like, some of the best characters in all of comic books. And I don't think, like, just focusing on this one guy who's got a lot of money is the best use of the property. Like, okay. they've made four Batman games. So you do the same all... game, Gotham Knights, right? Uh-huh. I w This is what I'd be fine with. Same game with, like, the same people, except you just don't have the spongy characters, and I'd be fine. I, I don't... I like... I like what the old... I like the free-flow combat system where you'd punch, um... So your you know, a problem... a couple times, and you'd get knocked out. Or, like... Well, your problem is not the the characters, it's the health bars. You just don't want to see the health bar. Um, and you're happy. No, I, I never complain about the characters. My problem is health is, bar. The, is the gameplay. I don't like having health well, bars and having like points above them that tell you how much damage you did. Eh, I'm all right, and usually in at least most modern games, you can turn shit off like the. I shirt, mean, what I say really doesn't matter because I'm probably still gonna buy the game. Yeah, and I'm gonna buy this because it looks rad as shit, and like, there's too much Batman. Like, give Batman a rest. They've got like. How much of the, like, marketing of DC fandom is purely just Batman-centric? It's, like, too much, personally. I'm sorry that he's just such a great character. Charlie. He's he's a pretty, he's one of my fave characters. I love Batman. He's, he's, my, he's one of my faves. But there is a point at which you want, like, less... Just, like, don't do so much. You don't need that much. Just take your time, you know? All right, it's speaking okay. of talking about Batman too much, we've been talking about Batman too much, so let's switch yeah, to... Um, did Justice you watch the League. Wonder Woman trailer? Uh, no. I am try. I want to go into Wonder Woman uh, 84 and Suicide Squad... Or, not Suicide Squad, and uh, Justice League kind of un unfettered by 
all the shit that has been shoveled upon those series is by the trailers, you know? Yeah, I guess, because you think that it will spoil something. Yeah, like, I don't... I want to go into those movies as un, you know, biased as possible, so I can judge them for how they are. Well, I thought the Wonder Woman trailer uh, was was very good. I watched it. Um, I really like her costume. It's very vibrant, um, Mm -hmm. and it's like... It makes me, like, you know, I like Batman to be dark, and I like Wonder Woman and Superman to be very vibrant and light. Uh, like felt like their costumes no. um, so and I like that they're sort of taking a direction where she's very um, I said vibrant already but she's very vibrant I hope they do I, that with Superman too no, I hope I want I want blue costume Batman again it's just me yeah I did see uh, uh, you so you disagree so much with that statement I, I don't think it would look good why I mean I'd like blue costume Batman but I don't it's think it would look good Maybe I'll pitch you my Batman trilogy that I have in my head. Oh, I, ha- I have one too. I think we've talked about yeah. this before. Yeah, it's uh, I. We both have our versions of the perfect Batman trilogy. Mm-hmm. I, I don't. Assume... I don't know how similar they are because I. I think we we merged them at one point. Yeah, but I think ours are. Well, I think our initial ideas are very different. But we'll save that for another podcast. Okay, so. Next big thing we have is the Snyder Justice Cut. League Snyder Cut trailer. Did you watch it? No. Okay. Because I want to see that movie and be like, man, this is a piece of shit. Now, that thought that you have will not change after watching the trailer. Yeah, that's that's also the impression I got from like looking at people reacting to the trailer. Being like, yeah, I don't think watching this will make me more excited for the movie. And it's I want to really see not a, good. I want to see a... Well, yeah, obviously it's not good. It's Zack Snyder allowed to do whatever he wants. Zack Snyder needs a few things to make an actual good movie. And one of those things is a budget. A limit on how much he can do. Zack Snyder needs confine, confinement to make really good pieces of work. That's why Watchmen's so good. Is it because It's because, like, not literally every fucking scene is entirely made of CGI. And he's been nailed down with a script, and he's told what to do. So his job is to direct, not to do anything else. Because when he's left to his own devices, he just turns everything up to 11 in all the worst ways. Yeah, you know? that was the trailer. That was really... it was. All, I, I think he directed the trailer, or whoever did at least, did a terrible job, because that was one of the worst trailers. Just like the way the scenes were arranged... Like, I like Zack Snyder movies. I'm a fan of Zack Snyder. I love 300. I think that Watchmen's great, and it has yeah, probably exactly. my Just favorite... It wasn't Watchmen. Sorry. It has probably my favorite opening to any song ever, or any movie ever. Watchmen? You know? Yeah. That, that like, opening scene where Bob Dylan's uh, Times They Are Changing plays over, like, the alternate hi- alternative history of the Mel- Watchmen universe... The trailer is like a mix of sad, I guess, uh-huh. in a way. But it, the sad doesn't really come across. I did see it. And g- also, it's very... Um, it's also... It feels like it's Josh Whedon's cut trailer. like Because it, it feels very happy. And I thought Zack Snyder was going to make it very gritty and sad. Why are you Why are you so pro-sadness? Can we just what? have some joy? Well, because all, I've already... Films. Look, Marvel, Marvel fills that void for happy superhero movies. Okay. Fills my happiness void. All right, they've already got that niche. So what I'm telling yeah, I you is that ba- I want to see Batman smile. That's all I want. I want to see that gloomy prick, like eating an ice cream. You can see him smile when he's killed by the Joker, and he has a smile on his face, and that's the end of the movie. Oh, that's a sad ending. Yeah, I'm well, assuming that's the ending to your Batman trilogy. No, I just thought that that would be the perfect oh. way to make him smile. You know, you know that would that's actually a good idea. Maybe you have like a Batman series, and at the end of each uh, season, that version of Batman dies, and you just go to an alternative version. Maybe, yeah, idea. it's alright. Yeah, um, we should see this. This is what we would be doing otherwise if we didn't do the podcast. We'd just be pitching ideas for TV shows to each other. Yeah, probably. One more comment about the uh, Zack Snyder trailer, though. Um, you know how they like spent a lot of money on CGI and stuff. Oh, I I did I, see I think I think that they forgot to spend a lot of money on CGI or something. I saw, I saw or maybe that. they did, but they hired a bad studio because uh-huh. uh, they showed Darkseid in it, um, and he looks like shit. 
I saw that gif of- I saw a gif of, like, Darkseid swinging an axe down on something, like, hiya, Like, both arms over his head swinging it down. I was like, that looks like a fucking PS3 cutscene. Like, yeah, yeah, no, it looks that lo- It looks that really looks bad. like a cutscene to me. Okay. I, I can't wait to see this movie, because I want to see a scene with the real actors next to this CGI thing. Oh, it'd be so good. God, I want to see. I want to see Ben Affleck crying next to a next to a picture of Darkseid painted onto a bottle of liquor. <laughs> uh, so any other DC fandom news you want to talk about? Uh, there's Black Adam. Nah. Did you watch Black Adam's little thing? It's not really a trailer. Uh, you I... could probably watch it without being spoiled. But yeah, it's, it was. It basically just says, "Hey, there's a Black Adam movie. Uh, we haven't shot anything yet." Um, I mean, it doesn't say that, but you can assume because the whole thing just looks like someone like kind of the, put it together last minute. Yeah, I feel like I well, could have made it, which shows that it wasn't great, and then they got The Rock to, like, s- voice over there. it. Hey, everybody, it's me, I'm The Rock! Which, he might he might look good for the role, I guess. I haven't seen him in the costume. Yeah, um, he's But large. his voice, I don't really know, because he, he has... He doesn't really have a villain voice. He has, what? like... Because he's played so many action heroes yeah he has like a very much a captain america kind of style voice where it's like oh yes i'm a well you person. know my my i have perfect casting for the rock in the dc universe but nobody agrees with me uh, what's i that? think he should be cast as lex luthor i think that'd be great don't you think the rock would be a great lex luthor uh i don't know i'd have to hear him i'd have to hear him and see him in the seat with what? the suit on and in the seat He'd have to be sitting behind the desk, Lex Luthor's desk, with like that annoying, maniacal look. Just look up like and ballers. He'd have to say something. He's just wearing like suits. Like I think it'd be great. Also, he would never win the presidency if he did that. Yeah, because you know. That's what Lex. You don't Luthor want Lex did. Luthor to be president, except no, Lex Luthor did win presidency. Yeah, we know. And then he like you know did some bad stuff, but it's all right. Oh, it's not all right actually. Uh, thank you, everyone, for listening to the Very Reasonable Pilots podcast. I have been your host, Charles Lung, and with me, as always, has been my co-host, Jake Gloth. Thank you for listening. Uh, please like, rate, subscribe, uh, write a review. Nice, mean, we don't care. We're gluttons for punishment. Uh, all of our social medias are in the description below. Isn't that right, Jake? Uh, yeah, they are. Um, thanks again for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this special little episode of yeah. the VRP podcast kisses. Bye. Bye.